Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Aries. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you for love, Aries. What do we have for Aries? Okay, we got two cards. We have the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. All right. Um, so you may be guided to move away from something that is just not serving you. You're not getting emotional fulfillment. Only you know why you're walking away from this with the Eight of Cups here. There's some dissatisfaction, discontentment. Um, maybe you feel like you have given to something for a very long time and, and now you're feeling powerless because something isn't working. It hasn't been working. Now you're taking your power back by way of walking away, walking into the unknown. Maybe it talks about an unknown, uh, a journey of unknown length. So you don't know how long you're going to be doing this thing, but you also could be talking about um, maybe in love, you're on the spiritual journey, the spiritual quest, maybe to find like-minded individual who wants the same thing, who wants a traditional a relationship, maybe marriage, but something uh, rooted and grounded in morality, traditionalism, uh, e equality, and guidance. Also, someone could be traveling towards you. Um, they're walking away from maybe a marriage. Could be temporary, though. Let's see what's going on for you in career and finance. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. Okay, so the cards are saying that, um, okay, Ace of Cups. So you could be getting something new, new home. Something that fills you with a lot of emotional contentment. Uh, something that you do not have to chase. The Aces are about what is presented to you. Um, maybe even... Um, new business venture that can be profitable for you. It could also be uh, maybe a spiritual uh, business here, something that you would use your creative side. Also, it could be uh, something that you, you, once again, you use your creative side. I don't know if you do something in terms of beauty, fashion, um, cosmetology, or maybe even uh, beauty regimens. It says that whatever it is going on in your career and finance, it's something that is f filling you with a lot of emotion in terms of emotional fulfillment. Okay. Um, we had a card flip out. Hang on. Yeah, some of you like hairstylists, hairdresser, Knight of Cups showing up. Um, you're getting some downloads. It, it's causing you to become... Whatever is happening in career or finance, you're going to have to use your creative juices to bring in more revenue, more income. You're going to have to get creative in terms of presenting yourself, uh, maybe even representing yourself, okay? Um, especially if you want to be apart from maybe a, a large corporation or an entity. Some of you have to use your emotional capacity in terms of your business, uh, you have to, um, I don't know, like, um, I'm hearing like good bedside manner or you have to, um, be understanding. You have to be very understanding. This could be social work. This could be something where you have to be understanding to other people's needs, their desire. In love. It's like somebody could be walking away to come towards you because they're guided to come towards you. They're listening to that inner voice. Wow, well, I got another. Yeah, so in love, somebody is guided to to come towards you. Maybe to make amends, make peace with, either move on from one another or move on together. Somebody just wants you to forget about or get over the hurt from, you know, the previous connections either with them or with someone else. Could be someone from your past or someone who's older than you, younger than you, someone who you grew up with, someone who maybe you met in a, you know, in childhood in your town, in your hometown, someone 
who just wants to make things simpler. They want to say, I love you. Um, they feel comfortable with you. This is the opportunity for them to kind of bear their soul to you. Something about being stuck, though. Stuck in their mind, wondering if they should, shouldn't. The shoulda, coulda, wouldas. The air of being good-natured. Maybe you were very good to this person and now they've got you stuck. You don't know how to get out of this, how to move away from this. You think about this person in, endlessly, continuously, definitely a person from your past. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, also, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, you could learn the tarot with me if you would like. The classes are linked below. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.